Ding. Ooh, and the bone was sticking out. Oh. <laughs> What up, Fushi Gang? Sup, Futan Clown is forever my nameless boy. <laughs> wow. Okay. So today <laughs> we're gonna be talking about To Your Eternity, Season One, Episode Nine. Deep memories. Deep memories, indeed. And mm -hmm. dude, they had a scene where they acted like Goo Goo was gonna die, guys. I know. I couldn't believe this. I was like, oh my gosh, anime, don't you do this to my heart again. <laughs> Laying with our emotions, oh, bro. Oh gosh, I was like, they're doing it. They're gonna kill him. They even had this like, this little finger like going, like going. This needs to Goo -goo. stop Goo -goo. now. I know, it was all falling off to the side. And he was even going like, this is the happiest I've ever been. Like he was saying goodbye. <laughs> oh, luckily, Bean came and woke him up and he jumped up out of bed. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> it totally was believable, too, because it was like, this is the first time anyone's eaten, like, food made by, from Bushi that he created, right? I know! Actually, one of my theories already, if he did die, I was like, did Bushi's, like, body parts poison him? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, Cause, cause yeah. no one, Because no one's eaten Bushi, so it's like, how do I know this is regular food? Yeah, how do we know it's not, like, poisonous in some way? Yeah. <laughs> well... Good thing Goo Goo tried it. So. Yeah, so now we know and it's now all good. It's all good, but this was a damn good episode. What do you think of it? Yeah, Nika? I really loved it. It was a great episode. There was all these like different scenes that I really, really enjoyed. All the character development and I don't know, exciting stuff that happened too. Yeah, and guess what guys? Bushi can make food. Nani? <gasps> I know. That was mind blowing. Crazy. Like, and you could eat it, and he can make a bunch of different things. And it's things. not poisonous. Yeah. Yeah, and then he can make, like, proteins as well. Like, he produced the, the salmon head. Right? Mm -hmm. The salmon head. He, he made, made uh, uh, dango. The, the fruit. Yeah, and the fruit. Of course, the pear. The, the famous pears, pear. The... <laughs> famous pear, yeah. <laughs> but damn, this is such a cool ability. Like, he can just make food now, and apparently it tastes pretty good. What? <laughs> yeah, boy. But yeah, mm. but dude, they, they should make like a restaurant, right? Yeah, they really should. That would solve a lot of their like money problems. Yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> even need a kitchen. It would just be Fushi in the back just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. They should even let him eat like more different kinds of food so that Ooh, they'll have like a yeah. variety in this restaurant. <laughs> dude, they should just go... Fushi and Gugu need to go on like a world tour together, trying all the cuisines from all over the world. They so should. I would totally watch. can just recreate them. Yeah, I would so watch that. Fushi Gugu World. Yeah. Let's watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of food, so we got a new chef in this episode, which mm -hmm. is Reen. So question, Nicole, whose mm -hmm. cooking do you think is better? Fushi's or Reen? Ooh, man, both their cookings look pretty, pretty bad, but... <laughs> But if I had to really choose one over there, I think I would actually choose Fushi's cooking because Reen's cooking was just this like blob of purpleness. You don't even know what it is. Like, it, honestly, it reminded me of the bad cooking in uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's all like censored. Yeah. They needed to censor whatever she did. Over yeah. There. I mean, like, it looked like it was the same color. It was, it looked it was bad. It was a little burnt. Yeah. I Fushi's mean, was pretty bad, though. You yeah. just cut a daikon in half. <laughs> Didn't peel it, put way too much salt. Yeah, and but you know what? At least you could tell it's a daikon. Hers was just like, what did she even cook? Ew, it looked so bad. But yeah, dude, we have to mention uh, this part where it shows Pioran and uh, Boozman. I love how they're just so lazy to cook that they're <laughs> willing to just try anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you motherfucker! She doesn't even need to cook anymore. He could just reproduce food. Right? Right. He doesn't. He just makes it just pop out of his hand and everything. Yeah, that's way better than cooking. Yeah. I and mean, honestly, he's getting better at just like a lot of different things. Like this episode just showed you that like Bushi's just getting better at even um, changing it in all his forms. Yeah, I love this part where he's just like scaring people mm -hmm. uh, with him and Gugu just having a good time terrorizing the town. Terrorizing old ladies. <laughs> but at least they were nice to that baby. <laughs> I know, at least the baby. They were. They were. Like, 
Okay, guys, can I just gush about Gugu right now? Just let me, <laughs> oh, let yeah, me please. Go, go okay. for it, go for it. Gugu is just, he has to be probably the most courageous, the most selfless, mature kid I have ever mm. seen. And honestly, like this whole episode, I felt like Gugu was kind of just being the bigger person by apologizing. Mm. He, even yeah, apo definitely. he even apologizes to Reen for like calling her an idiot so many times. <laughs> Yeah, and it's just, oh man, I really love Gugu, and I'm I'm really worried about that. I'm really worried now. <laughs> and then, you know, just also speaking about Gugu, all the scenes that were with Gugu and Reen inside the tent, mm. man, their lives couldn't be yeah, more way different. different. Like, they are at the end of each spectrum because yeah. the hardships that Gugu is having versus Reen are just so different. And honestly, I think that's symbolized by their the differences right. in their scars. Oh, yes, <laughs> totally. What did you think? What, what did you think of her scar? I don't know, man. I thought it was. I don't even know. This is this little <laughs> thing right little here. Thing. Oh gosh! Come on. The fuck is that? I know. She's like, it's so hideous. Look at it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh! You don't even see. How, how big did you think it was gonna be? I don't know. Honestly, what do you really I thought, think? I thought when he pushed her, maybe she like broke her arm or something. Ooh, and the bone was sticking out. Oh. <laughs> No. Okay, maybe not that that's far. That's too much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Anyways. Uh, on the end. Oh my gosh. Mm, yeah, this episode ends on like a really crazy note with, um, yeah, Fushi kind of getting attacked again, again by this form absorbing creature, right? I know. I'm so scared for Fushi and I'm also really scared for, for Fushi. Gugu. Well, I'm scared for Gugu. Oh, I know. He's I'm scared for both of them. He's running in there trying to, trying to save Fushi, but... <laughs> I, hope I mean, get... he has uh, spears now, so I, hopefully that comes into play a little bit. I'd yeah. like to see that. Maybe. I really hope so, because I really want him to get his march form back. Like, I'd be, I'll be so sad if he loses that. Anyways, and on that bombshell, <laughs> boys and girls, I think that's going to end our episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys like this episode, hit that licky, licky, do, do, like do, do, button. Do, do, do. Maybe consider subscribing. Yes, we'd really, really appreciate it. And you know what? Thanks again, you guys, for hanging out with us. Yeah, definitely. Always great to hang out with you guys talk about to your eternity and yeah it's always nice seeing your smiling smiling <laughs> see you next time you guys yeah Bye. catch you on the next one later